Hello and thanks for shopping at Aldi. Were you able to find everything? Yes. Do you have your own bags, ma'am? Yes. Alright guys, I'm super late on this one. This is the Boundary Supply Prima System. And I got the Special Edition. This is the X-Pack version. This bag actually came out about, damn, it's been long, like two years now. This pack has been out. And I, when I first took a look at it, there's been some excellent reviews about it. And I was like, man, this is, looks like a dope pack. It looked like a little transformer system because some of the attachments that they have for it. And it's, and you know, it kind of makes its name because it's a, like a camera bag, but like an EDC bag. It was like one of the first that had that kind of a mix between EDC everyday carry or daily carry and camera creator if you wanted it. So I was super interested in it. And I know like the first couple of rounds of it was like coming like a black and a brown, but then they came with this X Pack material. And X Pack, to be totally honest, is like the wave, like where we're going in the future, as far as materials lighter, stronger. And you know, only a certain number of companies can really do it right. So we're gonna talk about it. Let's run down the specs on this bag. We'll go to the main section. Then we'll talk about all the accessories and all of that. This pack right here is 31 liters. I think that's really a good size for everyday carry. It gives you enough space to carry most things that you're gonna carry without being too small. But I found that this 31 liter pack when you put like the accessories in it, like the, the, the Verge Cube and, you know, it does kind of limit your space a little bit. The dimensions itself on the pack are 20 inches tall, it's 12 inches wide, and it can expand out to a depth of 8 inches. Like I said, this pack is made out of that X-Pack material, it's a sailcloth material, which means it's it's a lighter material. I like the overall design of the pack. It just looks really, really good. I mean, it, it gives me like a rucksack kind of feel, but like a, you know, modern rucksack kind of feel. We're gonna go ahead and go into the main section. We got Fidlocks right here in the front. So this is something to talk about, the way that you access this bag right here. So you have to undo these Fidlocks, which I love. I love Fidlocks. But instead of you being able to just go inside of the bag, you gotta, kind of undo stand it up like this and then you get kind of like a roll top feel to it right you unbuckle unbutton and then you unzip with this large ykk zip number 10. now the zippers on this pack like throughout the pack this is the largest one and i think there's only one of them one number 10 ykk zipper we'll get we'll talk about it as we move on to other sections aqua guard zipper rightly so because you're going to be sh shoving all your tech gear your, your your camera and all of that stuff you want to keep it dry in every condition so longer aqua guard zipper kind of reminds me a little bit of mystery ranch the way it opens up so you get that full access to everything inside so one thing about this pack though I really like the lighter color material, but the the interior lining material is is a thinner material. I noticed that from the like the jump when I got into this pack. And what happens because it's a lighter material, this X pack is kind of loud. You can you can hear it right. So that's that's on some X pack bags. I've heard the loud. Um, ruffling of, of the material and then on other X-Pack bags if they give you a, like a heavier quality lining material it kind of silences that the material a little bit this one right here not so much it's, it's going to be kind of a loud bag so let's talk about the you know the interior organization in this pack you do got a pocket right here which I actually do like it's a mesh pocket now the mesh in this in the interior of this bag is kind of thin 
So you gotta be careful with it. Over time, I don't know how well it's gonna hold up. This is the Thule Power Shuttle Mini right here. So that fits perfectly into like this winged pocket right here on the side. And then you have, on the other side, you do have a wing pocket. Now this pocket on this side is kind of small. It's only like, maybe like four or five inches deep and maybe 10 inches long. I don't know necessarily what you would want to stick in that pocket. I would have liked to seen it bigger um, for me. And then you have a little, you know, thin little catch pocket right here. Most of the time I use this for like my document holder right there. And then you do have some branding that says boundary supply in the back. I like the brown interior, like a mustard kind of brown I guess you would say and it does give you some high visibility down here finally got my dew wipes so I got those and I always carry my adventure medical kit in my bag there's a lot of space in the interior of this bag but it's pretty simple with the pockets on either side and you do have like a third entry is it a third entry or a second entry on the side right here we're gonna get to that when we start talking about the attachments but a lot of space inside of this pack, just you know, kind of limited as far as getting inside of it. I don't, I don't necessarily know if I like the the three step process of getting inside of this bag. So you gotta kind of decide for yourself if you're gonna like, if you're gonna like that. Like being, you know, you got the bag closed, right? I think that's kind of the biggest like drawback for me is you got the bag closed, right? So now you gotta undo the fit locks, which is no problem. You gotta stand it up, unbutton, and then unzip to get, it's a, for me that's a lot. It's a lot of steps just to get to whatever's inside my gym shoes. That's a lot of steps to get inside this bag. Now you do have a side access to the bag itself. We'll, we'll just go ahead and um, go around to the side. So this is an AquaGuard zipper on the side. Now the zippers here are very small for your access to your Verge pouch. This is which goes inside of the um, interior of the bag to act as like your camera cube. So that's pretty slick. But let's talk about this this entry into here, AquaGuard zipper. This zipper is super small. I don't even know what size it is. And since it's so small, it gets kind of hung up in the, and it's a rounded zipper. So it gets kind of hung up when you want to get inside of this section. So it opens up a flap into the main section. And this pocket right here on the flap is a RFID. So if you wanted to, you know, put your credit cards in there or something you can in there I just stuck in like a little bandana but it has the RFID blocking technology so no one will be able to you know steal your information in here this is where you bolt in or snap in your verge pack which is right here this is the verge pack and it's got the ability to have like a little carrying case thing to it right here so you can carry your your you know your dslr in this it's a pretty nice little pack though i mean little nice accessory it's got a little zipper a little um pocket at the top these zippers on here are small as well and then where you actually put like your camera and stuff in it's it's padded up really well there's a like a divider in there so you can move it around i have the uh this is a canon lens 10 to 18 in there and this enough space to put my EOSR in this in this pocket and then you have some little pockets on the top where you can stick in maybe some SD cards or extra batteries now if you do have like a larger camera you got one of the big boy cameras you can actually unzip the bottom of this thing and expand it up so that's pretty nice. It's a nice attachment. I actually like this a lot. And it does have some bands down here. So if you were, you know, had a tripod or something, small tripod, you wanted to hook it to the bottom of it. It's pretty cool. You know, this, this is going to take up a lot of space inside of your bag. So I'm actually kind of glad I'm trying to find the zippers. I'm actually kind of glad that they made this a separate, you know, like something that you could pull out. So it's not permanent inside the bag. So it gives you a lot of versatility and this strap that's on here, this is actually your hip strap for the bag. So you can pull this off and run it in the back panel 
in the bag right here on the bottom. So that's your hip strap. So if you're carrying, you know, a decent amount of weight or you're moving a lot, I would say this is a hip strap, not necessarily a hip belt. So this is more for movement. You want to stabilize the bag. This is what this is for because the way it comes out on the side, it doesn't really give you a lot of, you know, hip support far as, you know, this is going to take weight off of out of the bag and put it onto your hips. It's more of a stabilization than anything else, but I'm glad they did include it. And it's a, it's a smart idea. So down at the bottom of the bag, you got Hypalon material. And this is another place where they <laughs> actually left you some straps so you can put in uh, maybe a tripod or something along that you want to, you know, I don't know, a blanket or something if you wanted to attach it down to the bottom. So that's pretty slick. So they give you a lot of tripod options. So you got this one on the Verge case, you got this one on the bottom, and then the, the water bottle pocket on the side, you can also stick your tripod in here and it's got a little, you know, attachment point so you can kind of hook it in. So the water bottle pockets, I wasn't really impressed with. This is a 20, I think this is a 24 ounce camelback shoot. This fits in there, but when I try to put like a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle, it was a no-go. So you're gonna have to find a smaller water bottle to put on the side of this pack. And then in the back of the water bottle pocket, you got another one of those smaller YKK zips, and there's a little pocket there. Now, it, it, if you have your water bottle in the pocket, you can't actually get your hand in there. So you gotta take the water bottle out and then you can put your hand in there to grab out whatever you want. So I got my little green room 136 mask in there. But once that water bottle was in there, I couldn't access that pocket. So yeah, that's something um, they need to, I think need to improve on is that leader independency. Leader independency. You can see like it doesn't this water bottle pocket doesn't you know it doesn't want to take a water bottle like it's supposed to like it should be just easy just to slide it in there good retention hold it in there but it's not on the side we already talked about the, the opening now let's flip around to the back of the bag real quick and talk about the shoulder straps and stuff. So the shoulder straps actually feel good. You know, nice padding on them. They do have load lifters on them. Guys know how load lifters work. You pull them, they pull the load higher and closer to your back. So these work really well. I appreciate that. Contour and the padding is good here. Sternum strap, I probably would leave on since this is like a camera slash daily bag. I would want that extra support, the weight of my camera. So it's on a, uh, you know, fit lock system with the magnets, actually like that a lot. And then the sternum strap is on a ladder system and it's got this hypalon material throughout the bag. So that's where the sternum strap is hooked to on a ladder system. So pretty decent strap keepers on the webbing. I actually like that. Now the back panel, is, is pretty damn good, pretty damn good. I actually like the, you know, the four separate sections right here, giving you a lot of airflow. The, the cushion right here is raised. So that's pretty nice, nice little natural curve, curvature to the back panel. So they did a really good job with the shoulder straps and the back panel in this bag. They also have like a luggage pass through. So, you know, traveling with this bag is good, you know, slide it onto your carry-on or whatever. And you do have a grab handle on the side so you can pick up the bag like this, or, you know, let me flip the shoulder straps around here. You can pick up the bag like this. So that's pretty nice. Up at the top, you do have a grab handle on this thing. It's the Hypalon material on the type, top again. This grab handle didn't like it so much because I can't get my hand <laughs> under the grab handle. The back of the bag and the frame sheet of the bag stops me from getting a good grip on the top of this, on the top of this grab handle. So that's something they may need to improve on. Just give me a, a little bit more space between the bag itself and the grab on the grab handle because it's so tight you can't get your hand in there. On the front of the bag, you do have a quick access compartment, AquaGuard zip again, too small, too small with the AquaGuard zippers. Um, in here, the, 
there's actually two sections in this little front pocket. So in the front first section, the pocket goes all the way down to the, to the end of the flap of the back. So I was able to stick in my yellow birch organizer right here with my little word notebook, got my uh, Spyderco Chaparral, Lumatop EDC tool, just, just my odds and end things in here. And then you also have like a little pocket in there. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see. And it's lined with nywool, right? Perfect for your cell phone. Cell phone, right? But it's too small for a cell phone to fit <laughs> to fit in there. So I don't know necessarily what you would put in there. And if it's too small for a cell phone, I think it's gonna be too small for a pair of glasses. So maybe if you have like a smaller iPhone, like a, one of those iPhones from back in the day, it would fit in there. But a larger cell phone is not gonna fit in there. And also in there, you have a little key keeper and it's on like the little nipple system. You guys can see, <laughs> you know, um, nice little key keeper, I like that. And you see this little nipple system throughout the bag in the back panel as well. It's got like an attachment for the, for your org admin section. We haven't seen an admin section, right? So what they came up with, and I gotta be honest about the bag, is this is this little, this is why they call it the system because they get the Verge pouch, which is really a camera insert. And then this little, they call this the field space. This feels like an afterthought, you know, like, my, my organization for my office stuff, this feels like, you know, we we didn't we didn't make an organizational panel in the bag. Where are we gonna do and put our pens and stuff? Oh, give them a, you know, give them a, a, a slide in insert. Yeah, that's not, that's not my favorite way to do things. Um, and there's a couple of reasons why, and I'll go through it before, but let me walk you through this thing. It's got pen slots on the side right here, and then it's got two mesh pockets. If you slide a bigger item, let's put this yellow birch organizer in here. We'll come back to it later. The, like I said, the mesh is not the greatest feeling on, on these pockets. It is expandable. So we'll put a larger item right there. And then on the flap right here, we got a nye wool um, line pocket where you can slide a tablet or a small laptop, like a 13 inch laptop. And then in the back of this pocket, you got a little document organizer. Now, if I put this, what do they call it? The, the field space. If I put the field space in the back of this pocket, this is where it goes in the, in the laptop compartment. It's an Akagar zipper. Again, the zippers are too small. You got this little space right here, the, the nipple. It's the nipple on here as well. So you slide this in. See how it's... So now it's eating up space in the main, in main compartment. When I sl slid this, you know, field space in, it started because I put that yellow birch organizer it pushed itself into the main section so that's one thing but it's a nice little suspended place but now when say you want to get that out you gotta unzip then pull this out and then get your pen and then slide it back in you know and then if you want to put your pen back in you gotta unzip pull this out that's that's to me that's a little that's a little much it's it, to me it's a little much it's two separate sections back here so the one section is for your your field space and then the other section is for your laptop so again this is nywool lined 17 inch laptop will fit in here and that's what I put in here this is a 17 inch Dell Inspiron so older version super thick super damn heavy. Um, I just put that in there for like demonstration purposes because everyone always asks me, can a 17 inch laptop fit, fit in there? Yes, it can. And it fits in there well. It's a suspended laptop sleeve, but that's all of your kind of your work stuff in, in there, in that one section, not filling the zippers. Um, yeah, ah, this bag right here, 
I think it has a lot of potential. Like they were trying to do a lot of things. They want to give you a laptop bag and they want to give you like an everyday carry bag and they want to give you this verge so you can use your camera. They, you know, they want to give you organization. They want to, you know, they wanted to do a lot of things. And for me, it's just okay. You know, like it's just okay. Now we got to talk about the price on this bag. The, the bag in the X-Pack is $349.99. So 350, you know, so whew, that's that's high. And there's not like I haven't reviewed more expensive bags, but when I when I do, I want the bag to be, you know, functioning the way I want, the zippers to be functioning, the access to be right. So you know, when you pay that kind of price, it's like, whoo, I don't know if I want to pay that for this particular bag. Now, the regular um prima system is 239 i think that is probably a better way to go if i was gonna get this bag i don't know if i would spend it for the the x-pack one is loud to the the interior lining just it's not the greatest um so i would probably want to look for like if i wanted these features i would look for like the a more affordable option of the same bag so I would look at that one. I know a lot of people think about the weight as far as the bag and they look for that X-Pack material because they want to reduce down on weight of the bag. The X-Pack material in this bag weighs three pounds, nine ounces, but you can get the regular version of this bag, which is cheaper price, $100 cheaper, $110 cheaper, and the bag weighs three pounds, 12 ounces. That's the way I would go. If I wanted this bag, I would go for a little bit heavier, um, a different material on the outside because this, is, this, this X-Pack material is it's really kind of loud. This bag right here, if if you ask me, George, would you pay $350 for it? I would say no, you know, I, I, to be totally honest. I, I would say no. I would, I would look at paying $250 for it and maybe like a Cordura or something like that but not 350 for this X-Pack. Just in my humble opinion, guys. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you love this content, subscribe to the channel. Always got room for more subscribers. And if you got a question, leave it down there in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.